yes hello guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to learn about a uh, a bit interesting topic uh, i mean uh, what are the tools which we are uh, using in a real time while working with power bi okay see uh, while working with power bi you are using power bi desktop obviously and power bi service and for any for database for database things you are going to work on like a sql server or as teradata or else Oracle, whatever it may be, depends upon that one and Power BI service. Uh, apart from that, uh, uh, there are some of the tools, guys, regarding to Power BI, uh, so that uh, everyone should be aware of that one. So that's why I am today I am making video on that one. Let's get into the next slide so that you will get an idea of that one. Yes, tools used in real time with Power BI. Yes, uh, obviously the first one is uh, Power BI desktop, guys. So you guys are aware that uh, in the Power BI desktop is the one which we uh, is a free one, free uh, licensed. I mean, it's a, it's a licensed or means I mean it's a free one, so that there is no need to um, pay for that one in order to download or install the software. You don't, you uh, no need to pay for that one. So since Power BI desktop is a free one, where we use it to uh, develop uh, all our reports and dashboards, everything. So it is a standalone, um, a standalone uh, uh, tool where we develop all our uh, reports and dashboards so here you don't have any doubt about that one here the new thing is power bi uh, desktop server guys see power bi desktop is different power bi desktop server is different why because see in the power bi desktop uh, uh, once you develop the reports you are going to publish in the power bi service right that is power bi cloud while coming to power bi desktop it is the different scenario you are going to publish in power bi report server guys not in power bi cloud so you know to enhance the uh, uh, in, in order to optimize the exactly thing uh, in which you need to deploy the reports all everything in report server there is the microsoft has come up with a solution like power bi desktop server say example for banking kind of things right for security kind of things or some see example um, let us say that uh, your uh, your company uh, your company has a uh, reports which is, which is working for um, I mean you are you are going to work for a client like banking uh, client so it is a secure one right obviously for secure kind of things uh, they are not going to publish anything on cloud for their issues or their policies so for that purpose Microsoft has come with a solution like Power BI Desktop Server where you uh, use dollar uh, power BI reports and then you will deploy all those reports into Power BI report server guys not in the cloud this is also a standalone like one so like local host all the everything will get so there you need to it's similar to like our servers where you used to work right so it's similar to like that one so power bi service uh, you all aware that where you where it's a cloud one uh, it's a cloud one app.powerbi.com there we use it to uh, publish all our uh, power bi reports and uh, dashboards there and our data sets everything there so there again we will uh, do uh, we create an app and then again we will uh, published publish an app and again we will share that app to the end user so that is a different story guys so i mean by this i think uh, again the workspaces that there is a different concept i mean just uh, this video is just about awareness of uh, what are the different tools you are using in power bi the real time purpose and power bi report server just now i had explained right guys this is for uh, like a local purpose like for banking purposes or some other uh, some other confidential projects or some of the restricted projects are there so for that purpose we are using power bi report server they are going to publish in the power bi report server instead of power bi service okay and the power bi report builder guys this is a different thing uh, so those who knows ssrs i think uh, it's not it's not a new concept for them that is nothing but paginated reports guys since uh, Page generated reports are nothing but uh, which fit on the page and uh, it is uh, uh, where it is a completely scrollable data i mean nothing but uh, uh, so how many pages uh, say example in the table there are um, 100 pages are the 100 pages can able to print that one so that is has a feature like page generated report feature is there in order to develop that page generated reports uh, the software microsoft to come up with the power bi report builder there you, you use it to you are going to or uh, to um, develop uh, page generated reports uh, but these are nothing but page reports are pixel perfect uh, i mean pixel perfect we, we are saying that pixel perfect by because say example in the power bi desktop say there are 100 uh, or example uh, that your table consists of 500 uh, 500 lines uh, example 500 pages or example 500 lines say say you are not going once you are going to print that you are not going to 
print that 500 lines uh, you are going to print only 10 to 15 lines uh, where your page covers but when coming to page net reports you can able to print uh, 500 lines of that uh, i mean 500 pages of that one report guys so that is the beauty of the page net reports so these are the uh, five uh, softwares or five tools you are going to work on uh, uh, power bi real time guys so not only only power bi desktop will not work there so power bi desktop power bi service will not work there of course uh, there is a power bi gateways are there so we will discuss the everything in a uh, ms paint i will explain you about the process so that you get a clear idea guys let's uh, move into ms paint so that you'll get an idea yes uh, i will open the ms paint Yes, guys, coming to this one uh, as we discussed the discuss that Power BI desktop, right? Okay, this is the Power BI desktop, guys. Okay, those who are uh, aware of that one, you can ignore this one, guys. Just uh, those who are newbie to this Power BI desktop, they should aware that what are the tools you are using. So this is the Power BI desktop, guys. <laughs> Sorry, and this is the Power BI desktop, guys and then after that uh, after that we are using that uh, um, so here we are developing our all our reports and then we are going to publish it into our power bi service okay nothing but power bi uh, i mean um, cloud nothing but power bi here we are using okay app.powerbi.com okay power bi service nothing but okay don't confuse between power bi uh, uh, service and power bi server guys okay don't confuse power bi service nothing but cloud power bi server is nothing but local okay and this is sorry guys i'm taking time this uh, power bi service is nothing but app dot power bi dot com okay app dot power bi dot com guys okay so here you are going you are developing all your reports and you are going to publish here here you are developing all your reports uh development reports uh, and dashboards okay or it may be you know, reports dashboards bookmarks all your futures so what are the futures available in the i mean according to your requirements client requirements you are developing all your reports here and you need to publish to the end user right so that uh, it is the way uh, you are publishing to power bi service so again this is the one scenario guys again other scenario is where you are using the tools is uh, here uh, yes i'm sorry guys bear with me i am very poor with this microsoft uh, uh, paint so bear with me and this is a power bi desktop power bi service and here is uh, nothing but power bi desktop server guys okay power bi desktop server and again in order to publish your reports into power bi uh, server so there should be a power bi server right here the power bi service is there similarly you should here uh, that power bi server should be there okay so for that purpose you are using power bi server guys okay sorry here you are using uh, power bi support server okay server guys so so here you are developing this is for uh, this is only used for like a, a, a local you can say i can say a local or um or secured website secured projects like bank okay uh, like some insurance or government projects so for that one we are using the power bi report server guys 
so here we are developing the because we can't able to publish from power bi desktop to power bi uh, reports there is no uh, feasibility for that one in order to publish the reports into power bi server uh, you are using here yeah, uh, you need to use power bi desktop server it is similar to power bi desktop only but the only difference is that you, you are going to publish into power bi report server so here this one guys of course uh, there is a concept like a uh, gateway concept is there so gateways you you are aware that right gateway concept is there gateways are nothing but uh, in order to sync your local uh, i mean uh, on premise uh, on premise data source to uh, cloud so that we are using a uh, uh, gateways for that one okay so for the gateways concept is there guys i think you guys are aware of that one if not kindly comment in the comment section so i will happy to help you gateways so here you are using the gateways and here this is similar guys and again here you are using this is the interactive reports but here you are using other thing is page net reports for that one you are using that is power bi For that you are using a power bi report builder guys okay power bi report builder and here you develop all your page related reports okay page related reports and then you will publish from here to again to power bi service okay this is the scenario guys okay so that uh, this is if you say i can say this are for interactive reports power bi reports are two types interactive and page related reports so this are interactive power bi interactive reports okay interactive reports and this is power bi page related reports Page related reports. So you will uh, by seeing this, you will get an idea, right? Uh, so there are two types of reports in Power BI. One is uh, uh, Power BI interactive report. Other one is Power BI. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, one is Power BI interactive reports. Other is Power BI page related reports. So for Power BI interactive reports, you are using Power BI desktop, and you can you can also use Power BI desktop server. Again, okay, you can for Power BI desktop, you can deploy your reports to Power BI service. For Power BI Desktop Server, you can deploy into Power BI Report Server. And obviously, we are using gateways. If you need, if you, if your data source is not in the cloud, if your data source is in our local on premise, then you should use uh, gateways for that one, guys. And it is a, uh, other thing is Power BI Page Generated Reports. So this is using for uh, developing the pixel perfect uh, reports. Like uh, uh, for example, you need to print your invoices, uh, invoices or sales report. See example for sales report or invoices you are, you are going to have many pages for that one in order to print that one this power bi desktop or power BI desktop server is not suitable for that one so microsoft has come up with an idea like power bi page generated reports so this is the one thing guys you need to aware of that one in real time you are going to use all this uh, combination of the stack uh, so while working with power BI, not only power bi desktop and power bi service you are going to work on so these are things you are going to work depends upon the project to project you are going to work and implement on that one guys so by the by the here i am ending the video if you have any doubts kindly comment in the comment section i am very happy to help you guys uh, kindly correct me if i am wrong anywhere so i am happy to agree with you thank you guys signing off bye